and it's making this little crazy <laughs> like bubbling scary concoction hey this is rich from housebrands.com my brother dave and i renovate houses along with dave's son caleb and today we're going to show you how to get rid of sewer flies so in addition to home renovation we also do property management on this house this is a lake house vacation rental and sometimes when you're working on houses one problem leads to the next so for example the problem we had at this house is that the main drain sheared from the house so it separated and that is a massive problem and as a result we had to remove all these pavers that were in this area and then we had to use a concrete saw to get through this slab and as i was working the concrete saw i was wearing safety glasses a face shield there was a cloud of dust everywhere and i accidentally nipped my leg with the concrete saw as a result i had to go to the emergency room got 10 stitches then after that we noticed that because the sewer line was having a problem we were getting sewer flies all over the place the good news is today plumbers coming to reconnect our drain line and also my leg's going to be okay so now on to our third problem. Today we're gonna to show you two solutions to get rid of the sewer flies. All right, here's the guest bathroom upstairs and you can see how these sewer flies, they're like everywhere. And they're coming up through the all the pipes. There's a big party over here in the bathtub. All right, so these annoying little flies are called drain flies. They can also be called sewer flies. They'll come from a drain or a sewer pipe that's been broken and they breed in the drains and sewer tanks and the soil that's been contaminated with sewage. And they'll also come out of your crawl space. They pretty much swarm. We're gonna make a sewer fly trap now. So these are the ingredients that we're gonna need. We're gonna have equal amounts of water distilled vinegar and sugar and we're just using a quarter cup of each and then we're going to do five to ten drops of dish soap in addition. And we've made kind of a gross little death trap for these sewer flies but they're going to be drawn to it. All right it's the next day and I'm gonna see how our sewer fly trap worked. Oh, all right. Well, we got a few of these guys. There's a dozen or more in there. And you know, considering how many had been swarming, it seems like we're, there aren't as many flying around now because the sewer has been reconnected. So, Anyway, we'll continue to use these traps at our sinks and tubs. But we've got one other concoction that we need to make so that we can be sure to get rid of all of these sewer flies. All right, now that the drain is all sealed up, hopefully we won't be getting any more new sewer flies coming in. And you can see that the ones that are here, they're going into the traps, the ones that are still active. And so, Pretty soon those will all be dead but we have one other problem and that's that the the active flies could have been laying eggs and those could actually be in the sewer lines and so we have another little concoction here that's gonna get rid of all those eggs and it's three ingredients so we're gonna do uh, half a cup of salt half a cup of baking soda and one cup of white distilled vinegar we're gonna mix all that up and put it down the drain. All right, here's the half a cup of salt. Here's the half cup of baking soda. Here's the full cup of white vinegar and it's making this little crazy, <laughs> like bubbling, scary concoction. So we're gonna mix all that together. You know, the fact that it's bubbling, that's a really good sign. You know, that's gonna do something. Now we're gonna take this scary mixture and we're gonna put it down the drain. All right, so now that mixture's down the drain and we're gonna let that set overnight. And 
tomorrow we're going to come and we're either going to put boiling water down in the drain or just hot water and it will flush all of that out. It should take all of those little eggs with it. By tomorrow we should be sewer fly free. And that's basically it. So if you got anything out of this video, if you could hit the thumbs up button, that really helps out our channel. And also if you haven't subscribed yet, please do because we have a ton of home improvement videos on the way. Thank you very much for viewing and we'll see you in this video. Oh, be careful with your power tools.